All right, so six to six hundred fifty twenty to four. Right. Okay. Um, let's start with uh, okay, sharks. Uh, I just quick did a quick pass of this. I mean, everything looks fine. Looks like there's been no major change. We already talked about the endpoints. Make sure I've looked at everything there. Here's the memory usage. Yeah, it's just here. Um, Ryan, for the <clears throat> for the weekly. Oh well, okay. I'm I'm on the VMI benchmarks, mm -hmm. and I'm noticing that min word controller memory usage has a lot of uh zero values. Okay, so where this was the one we had talked about. Some weeks back here. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> yep. So this is still here. Uh, what did we say for this one? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we wanted to try. And did we have any? Was anything tried here? I don't know if there was any change. Something for no. Yeah. Not from my side. All right, this okay. is still. If if anything, I think the the least we should do is just to remove the zero values from there because it seems that after August eighteenth, uh, the minimum memory utilization has gone up. But that zero values are kind of, uh, you know, affecting the trend line. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I wonder. Um, so, not not this one. Be... The word controller, minimum word controller. Okay. I think it should be at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. This one, right? Yeah. So if you look at August 8th, 11th and forward, the okay. clusters have trended to, you know, go up in the graph. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's for our easy like fix for this, uh, just for now. Um, so that I think that so if um. I think that's what we have to do here. It's like we have to, we can't, when we get zero, we just can't include that in the data set into our calculation. Um, so this could either be done on the data gathering side or on the the calculating side. I don't know yeah. where we want to do that. I'm, I'm thinking we can add a feature to the graph plotter that remove all the, uh, all the entries that are zero from the graph. I don't think we should meddle with the data being collected and transformed because we we might want to keep the data intact to make sure we can correlate uh, what the root cause is, right? But just removing it from the graph can help us measure the trend line. Okay. Um, all right, so just so we're clear, like if we do this, so um, let me go back up. 
where's our um okay so here okay so do we want to do this in all cases or just in the case of this one this symmetric not not this one the one i'm showing but like you know what i'm saying like do we want to do only here in the min for control and memory usage or do we want to do this in the general case because that's another question right like this was useful in telling us something was wrong I mean, I guess what what would we see if we did it in all places? We would just have no data here, right? We'd have nothing yeah. adding, <clears throat> and that would tell us something, right? That would tell us that would tell us that we had something. Yeah. Right. So well, okay. well, we don't have to do either or, right? So we can implement this in a way that we can say for the uh, average word controller memory usage metric. So for metric X, we know that having zero values is not uh, desirable. So remove that, right? Mm -hmm. And we can pick and choose uh, a, uh, in the implementation as a configuration value what we should remove. So for example, yeah. we can say this is a known issue uh, remove the zero values until the root cause is fixed and then uh, revert it. Okay, that makes sense. All right, makes sense to me. All right, so then do this on the on the the graph plotter. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Okay, that seems like it would. That seems like a pretty easy fix. It's a pretty well, easy one to put together, I think. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, good. That should get this to at least look a little better and get our trend line a little bit more along where we'd expect it. Okay. Um, we'll have to just hold on to this though. Um, probably can leave it as a comment in the. The changes made that we're aware of this. Okay. All right, let's move on. Um, so, clock. All right, this one. Um, I don't have a prover access to this uh, for some reason, and I don't. Is this what replaces this? Or where are we making changes? Has before. It's weird. Maybe it's because of this. I'm not sure. Okay, so I mean, I think we need Lubo to do it because I don't know what. Um, I don't know why I can't prove this. So, um, <clears throat> I sent him a message. Let me. I'll Slack him and. See if we can get them to like, take a look at this. Yeah, yeah it has been so good. Uh, at this point, it seems like it's needing attention since a long time. So, should target yeah. merging this soon. All right. Next. Um, all right. You want to talk about this one? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, there was a bug found in the uh, REST client uh, latency reports or metric that uh, Kubert sends. The bug is that it sends or it currently uses the uh, HTTP semantics to report the method. So for mm -hmm. example, a list call or a watch call is an HTTP get call underneath the hood. So uh, what this does is it misreports list calls being made from a, as a get call. So the work that is being done here is that you look at the URL and if the URL has uh, label selectors, then report them as a list call rather than a get call. 
uh, the the reason why this uh, this was not caught by uh, SIG scale performance metric was that this latency is not currently reported in our benchmarks. We are only reporting the we're only reporting the counters, not the latency. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, if it is interesting for us, we should have an a tracking issue to even start reporting and, and adding those metrics to our benchmarks. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. All right, looks like it's getting good traction here. Okay, good. Okay, sounds good. It looks like we're going on something. Kind of so, all right, we'll keep tracking and see how that goes. Um, then I'll tell you about this one. And um, we should get this one merged. Okay. All right, thanks, Eli. Do you have anything else? Any other things? We'll no. Uh, I had just one more. Um discussion well not discussion but thought sharing uh topic i i wonder if we can do anything to bring uh attract more folks to this six scale uh talk or uh you know side of uh, development yeah i mean I mean, things that I've thought of in the past, like we've um, I've tried publishing different work items and stuff. Um, I mean, we've talked to people like, like you remember, we've talked to different people in the community and there's always some interest out there um, for people to join. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say like it, I feel like these kinds of things, there's the, you know, the interest kind of, comes and goes and then comes back and goes back goes away and comes back it, it's like i don't know i mean i think like what i'm saying is the we could always try um to <clears throat> look at different things that we want to build you know that would always attract attention like different design patterns and things that we want to do um that's a possibility I mean, there's a lot of other things we could always try and, you know, work. I and mean, we, we're technically a separate SIG right now, you know, than the Kubernetes one. I mean, we can always try and look to um, join forces too, if we want to, um, and talk about yeah. different things that we see. So I think there's a few things, um, you know, that those those paths can get us, you know, more interest. And, um, I don't know, let's see. I mean, I think when we go to KubeCon, um this time maybe we'll we'll see what um other discussions come up and yeah so i think my my intention of raising this issue was that i could think of a few things that we have discussed so far and and additionally if you implement like few more features on on things that are being worked on here that we might need help on so it would be great if you know, if there is interest out there, we can tap in and, and get some help. Uh, that was the only reason why bringing that up. So yeah, I mean, what? talking this in KubeCon would be good. I think we can get some more interest. Uh, you know, yeah, I think interact like the, with way, people in person. the way the way we have to build interest is by talking about our ideas and if it means that we need help on those ideas. I mean, I think you know, people will will just show up. But I think like um, you know, like we're not. I don't think we'll be able to get help just by asking. I think we'll we'll get help by doing, you know, making proposals, working on them, you know, show, taking that initiative, and that that kind of what that's what will drive more. That's what will drive more interest. Those those kinds of things. Um. So you're just doing more of that. I think is what it's like. If you think about it, like a lot of what we've done at the beginning of this, um, of six scale, we did. We added all of those. Like we had those initiatives where we wanted to add 
metrics and measure, right? But we've done like a lot of that now, right? So we've had a few things here and there, but like we we want to have more more of those. That's what you know, more ideas like that. That is what's going to drive more interest. Um, people want to work on different things. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, <clears throat> while we are talking, Lubo is here. Hey, Lubo. Hey, sorry for being late. Yeah, Lubo. Oh, well, Lubo, we, uh, we wanted to ask you to, have, to take a look at this one. Um, well, this is one yeah. of the things we wanted to ask you, but the, the, um, mm -hmm. this is the course does... changes for the test. Yeah. It does fail, by the way, on the CI. Yeah, we're trying to get it. I need to write it on the test. Um, it does, yeah. Uh, I I think we can look at that failure, uh, Lubo, but uh, <clears throat> just wanted to get your thoughts on the shape of the PR. If you can look if and, and see if there are any outstanding things that needs to be taken care of. Uh, don't yeah, want to go dig into the failures if this is not going to be the final uh, version of it. I'm quite happy about it. I don't see anything wrong. Personally. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's get the um, failure sorted out of the way and then, um, you know, then we can get an approval on it. And this should can, be uh, just one question. Do we have a job for this? already uh we have a pr open which is in draft to um, add a job for this once this pr merges it's a block that that, that job some... pr is blocked on this one is there any um any link so i can have a quick look but it would be great if you yes. can, can, can have a like optional pre-submit and just fire it on this one, you know. Uh, the job that we intend for this one is going to be a post to submit. So that's uh, that's fine. That's fine. I think what you do is just uh, copy up, copy that up, uh, do it as a pre-submit, and uh, make it optional, and uh, you can trigger it on. Yeah, I think this is it. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Three, five, seven, two. Okay. Three seconds. Um, what did they wrong? Uh, sounds good to me. Let me have a like few minutes after the meeting, and uh, I'll approve. Give you a halt. Uh, I have few faults, but um, I don't see any blocker. Okay. Uh, awesome. Thanks, Lubo. While you are here, uh, I wanted to ask you. Um, How's um, I wanted to ask you about the uh, virtual kubelet discussion that we were having a uh, couple months back. Uh, is there anything uh, you know new you are learning? I'm curious um, how you know that side of things are going. Not at all. Unfortunately, I was taken to the different direction with different priorities. Uh, at least for the last two months, so no progress there. Do you want? Oh, um, do we want to? I don't know if like Google, you had a design for it. I mean, we could always try and push something into the community, and then maybe someone will take it up. Um, 
while you've got some other priorities. Um, yeah, that's that could be. I'll try that. Yeah, I think we. I have somebody in mind that might be interesting in in doing this. Okay. And I can I can just steer him in the right direction. Okay. That's a good point. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Ryan, this is a great uh, example of the other discussion we were having. Yeah. Uh, having more work to just, you know, interest people. So it might be great to just, uh, you know, uh, polish the requirements a little bit and ask help, ask for help. I think that will be great. Yep. Um, what have I missed, by the way? So we talked about um, there is this issue with uh, so all our all of our graphs if we go they've kind of they've recovered from um, the metrics changes and look normal again. The ones the new changes were the um, for the memory usage that was recently added, and we noticed that. Sometimes the um, metric reports zero, a zero value, essentially. It's a premium of zero. <clears throat> and, um, and then sometimes it reports correctly. And this is not useful because it's um, skewing the data. Like here you can see that we've got more clustered data points here uh, it, pointing to a possible rise in memory usage but it's being skewed because there's just been more zero values. So it's not yeah. really, the trend line isn't really useful here. So what we are saying is that we have to find a way to get rid of these values that are so low. Um, and there's sort of two things that the root cause we believe has to do with the fact that when we're actually gathering the metric, um, it's probably a good chance that we're, we're gathering the metric at the wrong time. Uh, we don't really know when exactly is the right time. I think we're just off by a little bit. So um, that would be, I think, the, the root cause. But these were for the for the components, right? For the API, for the and for the controller yeah, itself. That's correct. Yes. Um. Yeah. Don't know from the top of my head when we gather them. Yeah, I think I think it's the I think it's just a timing issue. Like I whatever it is, like I think. But it's probably something to do with timing, and we just need, we need to dig in a bunch to figure out the timing. Since we haven't had a chance to do that in probably the last three weeks or so, um, what we were saying is what would be an easier way to like to get, correct the data without going do too deep into the timing. And so um, Elaine and I were talking about that, and I guess one of the ways to do this is if we find a value, well, it's not technically zero in this case, but pretty much is zero, like less than one, you know, a very, very tiny value um, that we um, we don't plot it in the graph plotter, right? We just, um, you know, these data points right here, we ignore them because they're, I mean, we're just missing data here. Um, it's not ideal, but it will get us a better picture, a better trend line and throw away the data that um, we know is wrong. Um, and then we can at least come back to this later. Yeah, I see what you mean. That sounds sounds good as as a workaround. Let's see yeah. what. Yeah. So that's my we'll, we'll do that as well. Yeah, go ahead. Do you know where when was the time we added these metrics? I want to have a quick look on it. Uh let's see. Um maybe or maybe who authored the PR? So that was Shreja did it, I think. Um, yeah, she did. Okay, so this is the one. Okay. So and the, one. I I think the, the there is no change in, in the query. The the specific bug is a scenario where the same metric and the same query in the case of the VMI job, 
is showing these symptoms, but in case of VM job, uh, the observations are perfectly fine. Yeah. Actually, Alay, so it wouldn't be this PR. Um, it, it's it has to do with it's the bug wouldn't be in here. It's actually in um, it's in the tooling. Um, I don't know where that should. The perf scale audit, right? Oh wait, the PR to add tests. This one, I think it would be this one, right? This should have the uh, no, 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 not this one. It's whatever pull yes. request from is reading the chain. Ryan, I think you got the right PR, correct? We we verified that the the tooling has the same metrics as what was observed in the uh, test result on on the project. Is it this? Is it this the density oh, job right or? No, this is the shared cluster performance job. Uh -huh. Okay, so it should be the the perf scale audit tool which collects the metrics, right? Yeah. The, so we verified uh, the audit tool results in in one of the previous calls. We verified the audit tool results is the same as reported in the but as reported by this particular query in the job output. So what happens is these queries are run and they output a JSON file in the pro job. And then mm -hmm. that JSON file is in S3 bucket. And then mm -hmm. the perf scale audit tool, well, uh, perf scale report gatherer will, will take that and plot it into the graph that you see, right? So mm -hmm. we we peeled off the onion layers where we made sure that the data collected by that tool is same as that reported by the JSON on, mm -hmm. on this particular uh, job. So now we have to peel one more onion is in the sense is, as Ryan was mentioning, could there be something wrong with this query timing? that is being executed or, or something like that, that gives us that right. one of uh, flaky data. Right. Um, yeah, I see we already sleep for 30 seconds uh, for the Prometheus to scribble the metrics. Maybe that's not enough. Yeah, we yeah, could, we could try that. Little. Oh, actually, no, you're right. It wouldn't be enough because that the amount that we have is like it's so low that it's like the that it's like the pot hasn't even started yet. Right. Mm. Sorry, Lay. So so this this job is available as a pre-submit, right? We can increase that uh timeout and just try a bunch of uh reruns on on that PR to see if we get a steady trend line mm. okay mm -hmm. yeah, and we could probably also uh, play with the prometheus uh, configuration to, you know, scrap more promptly. Well, that one, yeah, that one's true. So that could cause other problems though. Like the, a lot of the, it's so much of it is timing based right now. Like we, like we have um, a bunch of stuff that's based on when Prometheus is scraped. I think that's why we wait 30 seconds actually because that's the default um, that allows the Prometheus metrics to be scraped. I think it's like it guarantees us one scrape. Right. The, the question is why it's not enough, right? Yeah, it's almost as if um, it's almost as if uh, a the vert, it's almost as if the Qbert API 
isn't running when um, that sleep starts. You know, you know what I mean? Like that. Well, I mean, I'm kind of making some assumptions here. I'm assuming that this value represents that the the keyword control plane is not running or is barely, you know, is, is not really up. Yeah, or, or it was restored or something, restarted or something like that. Yeah, so that's sort of what I'm assuming. So then the question would be, we have to make sure it's running before we go into that 30 second sleep. And I believe like the make cluster up, right? Does the make cluster up like guarantee that or is it not guaranteed? That the, the control plane is running. I don't know. To me, that would be the question. I think um, if make cluster up was to guarantee that like Hubert was running, because I thought it, I thought it did certain thing. But at the same time, I, I'm if I'm reading this correctly, so this is minimum over time, right? And if you have multiple replicas and one of the replicas doesn't get any traffic, then um, so like Lobo, over time. In in that direction, what we have done is the min word metric and the max word metric. We have taken the max of the two replicas and then taken the minimum average over time, right? So this is to account for the fact that there is going to be a leader word controller and then there is going to be a standby replica. And the second one will not get the traffic. So that part is accounted for in the way a query is designed in that uh, PR. Yeah. Great. Are you saying that you're getting the min from the one that is getting traffic? Correct. Yes. So if you go to that PR, the second tab, uh, and search for how, how do you ensure that? Because I, I see only mean over time here. Oh. Uh, so I, no. I think the idea was that, and I, I need to go look at it again. It's been a while. Uh, over time. Oh, we don't do that. Right. Okay. I mean, that, that, so, that would explain it, right? Would no. Explain. So you see the max and mean by pod, the first part of the query. Yes. Mean by pod, that is then taken the max of. So that the max mean, max mean <laughs> two mm -hmm. times gives us that result. So the max of the max and the max of the min. Okay. Yeah, because I as I assumed here that the uh, that the leader pod will always have the higher utilization well, so, in both min and max case. So go to this. So this query. So you're doing okay. So you've got this one saying. So let's say we've got two two ver controller pods. Uh, the min by pod. The one that's not the leader. What would we? Yes, what would we expect here? So, min by pod should return what? If we have one leader and one follower, this should return the follower, right? Yeah, I I see what you're saying. It, 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 it should be the, the other way around. Yeah. I think, because I think what this is possible. So, okay, so that, that could be, so what these values could be showing us is that this is, so this could be that the, this could be getting the followers mem. That's actually interesting. Here's, here, I, I think that's what it's saying is that this is the followers mem. All of this is the follower's memory. 
but that doesn't make sense because if you look at the values, right, the minimum is at 50 and then the maximum is at 80. So it is getting kind of in the current ra correct range. And then let's look at the average a little bit below the next graph. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, th I think it's the up above graph, sorry. Yeah, this one. So, so the average is coming out to be 60, which is right in, in the middle of. 45 and 90 and like 60. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> which, which of these are affected by zero values though? So the zero values will not affect those calculations because that is your average over time. Okay. So 60. it's like, yeah. Okay. But these are still, so 90, 50, these are, they're not in between. Well, they are, I mean, the values are, but they're, they're skewed much towards the, the follower. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if that's correct or not. Yeah. So would we no. would we expect like this to be halfway in between these two values, like ninety and fifty four? Is that what we expect? So it'd be like ninety fifty four would be um like seventy five. We're we're yeah. in we're in the sixties. We have some seventies. In the 50s, 50, 94. I mean, this would be in the 70s. Seems like this is low. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confused about that. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I'm going back to this though. Like, I think in, so. Min of the pod. This this should always get us the follower. And then the max of the minimum. But um, so there's only two of these, right? So once we do min of pot, it should narrow it down to one. And then we do the max of that. Do we need max of the min of it? But if, if I see it correctly, you don't do this max over pods for the build API, right? That one, max word API is time. not leader follower. We only need this for controller. Word APIs are all active. Yeah, I know what you mean. Min five pod. Yeah, I think we should take uh, take a look at this queries more offline. Um, let me take an action, Adam. I'll work with Srija to verify. Get back the next meeting. All right. Let's see. Okay, so let me see. This is our previous. Let's just do. Um, okay, I mean, that'd be great if that's what this is. Then we don't have to worry about this part like, as much. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Okay. The okay. the other thing is that if this was the the actual root cause, I'm not sure why VM metrics don't get affected by this. Why VM metrics? Yeah. Uh. Well, let me see. Let's go back to. Uh... So here's our VM metrics. So what are the numbers? Let me actually. I don't think I've compared. So average, where is it? In average. Okay, so 88, nine, so look at the, 
Oh, but you're saying that the uh, it's got the same. It uses the same calculation, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah, and and there there is no zero values. Everything yeah, no is zero values. perfect. Okay, so min average. So great. That's no, great. Yeah, it was okay. So eighty nine. What's it's higher than the average? Where's the okay? So ninety eight and ninety eight and eighty six. So like about around ninety. Yeah, ninety two. He's like right. Mm -hmm. Let me just find. Why in the world would a VM make a difference? Oh, and uh, other observation is yeah. we are using double the memory in case of VM from VM, right? right? The yeah. Minimum. Yeah. yeah. That's a good observation. Yep. That is a good one. Yeah, but this still doesn't fix our, this doesn't deal with our theory about these year values and why they're appearing if um you know i mean the controller could just lost uh, lost the leadership so and this seems weird though like we're doesn't it like i feel like that's some like we should see it in both cases though right like you mean the in the vm and vmi yeah that's, that's yeah true. right we should see in both and we don't. So how how do we run the the VM VMI? Do we do we have it? Uh, can you remind me? Like, is it a different job or is it in in one go? It's is the same job, uh, Lubo. But what happens is we run it in serial one after another, and so, the mm -hmm. the metrics are collected. So here's the step: start the job. Start, note the start time, run VM uh, workloads, note the end time, collect Prometheus metrics, uh, end minus start. Then uh, start, repeat this for VMI, and then repeat this for uh, VM with preference types. Okay. And where can I find the the configuration you just explained to me? In, it's job. in the so. perf scale tool. No, it's in the end-to-end -end test. Is that in tests or is that in here? I don't know where that one is. Now we don't do it. It, it should be in the test. It should be in test, right? Yeah. Okay. Density. Here, this one. We get this one, this one for VMs, and then here's the VMIs when we do 100. So we run the, you're saying we run the test binary only once? Yes. So if we run the test binary only once and then we, the perf, like the Audi tool is called only once then, right? 
Uh, no, the collect matrix is the function that calls the audit tool after the end of each test and writes that JSON file. Okay, I need to probably have a look at it. Okay, it looks like we we have plenty of time for Prometheus to settle between tests. Yeah, you see line 96, that's the audit collection. Right. After each test. Mm -hmm. yeah. We run on it, and then we've got our two scrapes in between. Hmm. Yeah, I guess our theory here is a lot. I don't know if that could, that could be it. We, we still need to review that query. I think you have raised good questions, but not sure if this will lead to root cause. I think it might be separate things. Well, so... It could technically be possible that um, since we only stand up, where's the, uh, so we start our, we do make cluster up before this test is run for the density test. So the cluster is running. The first test we run is the VMI one. Then we run the VM one. That could be how we get some of the zero values. Um, and then the um, the follower. So let's for a second go back to this. So if this one, if this means we're getting the the followers memory, I mean that could be possible. I mean that um It, it could be possible that this is the follower's memory. It's just that um, because we ran it second, or no, this one, because we ran it second, um, perhaps that had an effect on the metric. I, that actually could be a really simple change to see. I mean, you could reverse these two and then run the periodic yeah. uh, and see if we can actually get any zeros in here. That would tell us that it has to, that it has to do with the timing here. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we have two questions. So we still have a question about timing. So we got to review this line 60 because I, it's just to see if what, um, so I think we're doing, I think the question is, are we measuring the, Okay, I think have you tried this, have you tried running this locally if, if it should produce? Uh, no, I've not tried it. <clears throat> okay. It gives us some options here. Okay. 
I'll let you say you're going to take this, uh, take a look and let's, we can try and talk about it some more next time. I think, um, I think we've got a few paths here to investigate. Yeah. Okay. All right. That sounds good. All right. Anything else, guys, that we want to cover on this here? Okay. I'm going to about 10 minutes away, though. All right, thanks, guys.